Welcome to our video on car horn troubleshooting and repair. If you've noticed that when you press the horn button, nothing happens, you're not alone. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the most common reasons why your car horn might not be working and show you how to fix it. So sit back, grab your tools, and let's get started. Broken horn. The actual horn itself could be harmed. The horn can be exposed to ice, dirt, stones, debris, snow, and road salt because it is located close to the front of the car. Most automobiles only have one horn. There won't be any sound if this horn breaks down. If you have a vehicle with multiple horns and one goes out, there could still be some sound. Overall power will be reduced, or you might hear some clicking noises. Blown fuse. The horn frequently stops working due to a blown fuse. The car fuse box is where all of your vehicle's electrical components are connected. A circuit that blows a fuse was either overloaded or simply shorted out. The fuse acts as a sort of lamb sacrifice so as not to allow harm to the horn. Bad clock spring. How is it that even though you are turning the wheel in different directions, the horn is still connected to the electrical system? The clock spring is to be credited for making this action possible. The wires that make up the clock spring are coiled into a coil to maintain a strong electrical connection even when the wheel is turned. The connection is broken when the clock spring fails, and the horn might then stop working. Since the clock spring is in charge of maintaining a connection between the driver's side airbag and the electrical system, the airbag warning light might also appear on the dash. Even some of the steering wheel controls, like the radio and cruise control buttons, which all require an electrical connection, might not work properly. Faulty relay. The fuse box under the hood is where you'll find the horn relay. It is also referred to as the center for power distribution. The horn will not function if the relay malfunctions. When you attempt to honk, you might also hear a clicking noise coming from the vicinity of the relay. Wiring issues. The electrical system powers the horn. In order to keep the system connected to all of the associated components, it is reasonable to assume that electrical wires run through it. You are also aware of the damage that electrical wires may sustain over time as a result. Wires typically deteriorate over time, particularly after extensive use. At some electrical connections, corrosion is also a problem. The horn may cease to function even if a connection becomes loose. One of the most difficult causes, though less frequent than some of the others, is dealing with electrical wiring problems. Bad horn switch. Frequently, the center pad of the steering wheel contains the switch for the vehicle's horn. The horn circuit closes when you push that switch, sending power to the horn so it can make noise. Instead of having to push the entire steering wheel center to activate the horn, this design is more modern. You have a mess on your hands if this switch malfunctions. It is typically not advised for anyone other than a qualified mechanic to deal with the switch because it is situated so close to the driver's side airbag. How to fix? It's time to begin diagnosing the issue as soon as you realize that the car horn isn't functioning. Checking the ground and measuring the voltage to the horn should be your first steps. Examine the clock spring, fuses, and relays as well. You might need to see a nearby mechanic if changing the horn doesn't solve the issue. How much does it cost to repair a car horn? The price is determined by the repair. For instance, it might only cost $10 to replace a blown fuse. The price to replace a clock spring, on the other hand, could range from $350 to $650. Any work you can complete independently saves you money on labor. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.